Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Sim World Pro, and we are here at Grand Union Canal in the United Kingdom. And we're going to do some city fishing here, guys, and we're going to be looking for some trophies in particular. I think what I'm going to do is head over here to this bridge, which is just to the north. Let me see, not that one over there, it's the one that's closest to the road there. Go ahead and get that in. Now this is what you're looking for, and I have been other areas, caught a lot of carp, but this seems to be the best spot for a number of species, especially the pike. You've got a lot of cover, you got lily pads over there, and if you throw it over there, I've seen a lot of pike jumping over there on that side of things. Not sure where I can actually set camp up here. Seems to be a couple places to set up a peg. Yeah, you can do it here. My problem is with doing it here is that you're going to have to deal with hitting the bridge. Now, when you're casting, you're going to probably have to do something other than the overhead, like that one. You might have to do a side cast or lob it in, especially if you're doing the bottom fishing, but we're going to see if anything. Is close to these lily pads over here because a lot of times the pike will hang around the lily pads. There's not too many in the city venues here as far as cover goes. So I thought I'd give this a try for, just for the heck of it before we claim a peg. Now I'm working with the jerkalistic swim bay here. I always like to use this one at least to start with it, see how well it does, and then I'll try other things. Probably my favorite lure, both on this one, the Catch Carp and Course, and the Bassmaster. All the dovetail games. But I think I'm going to head over here to this end of things. I feel comfortable right here because last time I caught some pretty good size pike. There we go, got it all set up. So unfortunately you can't really cast too far to the right. Just got to do the best we can do, I guess. But I'm kind of looking around to see if I see any any movement, any fish coming to the surface, because they will do it. Well, let me show you about the overhead. I bet you this is going to fail because it's such a short distance. No, I actually got it in there all right. Surprised. I think I had pop up tiger nuts on that, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this one has got the one called the scent from hell. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. I put uh, those, those double corn on it. Uh, do you see how it's messing up right there? I'm not sure what it is. I think it has something to do with the bridge. I think it's actually hitting my my rod. So sometimes the overhead casts over here do not work. And if they don't, just try a side cast. I just want to get it out a little bit farther, but I guess I'm not going to be able to do that. <clears throat> It doesn't look like it's hitting it, but now see if you hit the Q after you set it up, you can do a side cast. See that hit it just fine. I want to get it right where I want it, which is right in the center of the canal. And we're going to do a little bit of lure fishing, see if we can't get something. I didn't like that. That wasn't really far enough. Try that again. Yeah, that's better. And we were going to keep at this. See if we can't get us a pike. I 
I've been seeing a lot of jumping going on over there by that. I guess it's a barge that's covered up or something. I actually saw a pike come up to the surface, but so far, I'm not getting any takers. I think if I don't, I'm gonna might switch my lures here. Might try a crankbait if it doesn't work. I'm keeping it about two on the speed. Oop, there we go. Perfect strike. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay, here's our first pike of the day, guys. Looks like a nice one. That must have been one I saw earlier. I think it was, actually. He looked like to be a good size. I think there's at least three trophy pike here, maybe four. Yeah, when I first got the game, they were just called trophies, and over time they gave them names. So you actually can catch named trophy fish. You can actually even catch them more than once. Good god, this is a big fish. Come on, fella. Uh, this... Yeah, I've been keeping it right at 25 because he's not been going too low or too high. But if he didn't start pulling on it too much harder, I'm going to bump it up a little bit. Yeah, I think I will. Maybe I can start getting him a little closer. Good God, this is a tough fish. Yeah. This may take a while. <laughs> You might fight some of these guys for a while. He is not showing any sign of tiring. I don't know if he's a trophy or not. I have not gotten one of the trophy pike out of here yet. I will tell you though, the trophies here at the Grand Union Canal are not quite as big as some other the some of the other venues. The pike there and the carp there often come a lot bigger, but I think it has something to do with it supposedly being in the city. I don't know if this is supposed to be London because the canal does go through London, but it also goes 137 miles, so could be anywhere along. <laughs> there we go, we got him. Ooh, that is a nice one. Very nice one. Not a trophy though. 28 pounds, 11 ounces. That's nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. 43.52 inches, is that what that says? Yeah. Not bad, but he isn't a trophy. Surprising. I think the biggest one that's in here is called Leviathan. Yeah, I'm going to have to find him. I'm going to change my bait here. I haven't been getting any bites off of these yet. Let's try something else. Yeah, the scent from heaven is not getting their attention. Might go with the pop of tiger nuts. It seems to be a good fail safe. That's true in all the games that Dovetail makes. I'm going to change this one too. Let's see, what should we put on here? Those have not attracted any attention at all. 
We'll try the scent from hell. It's supposed to be uh, marble in here, and they go for that pretty well. But we've got something on number two here, so we'll see what that is. Might be our first carp. Hmm. Not sure if it's. Yeah, I think it is a carp. Sometimes it's. Sometimes the brain look a lot like the carp. If you kind of shaped similar. Especially if it's a leather carp. Leather carp are kind of grayish more than they are brown. One thing I really like about these games... See, there's a fish right there. One thing I really like about these games is the variety of colorations. Yeah, it's a leather carp. He's real gray looking. But the bream, they can come almost black in color, all the way to almost pale white. Okay, we're going to try another side cast. Don't want to write on... Okay, let's see. Yeah, I've managed to catch a few pike. I went. Oh, there we go. Been catching some pike here. I actually cut that for a little bit. But the pike I caught were all under about 15 pounds. Got another one here. Yeah, it's not unusual to catch several of them. Then you'll get lulls where you won't catch anything, so... This one looks like he's real pale in color. He might be a little bit bigger than the others I caught, so... We'll see just how big he is. Uh, he's not done yet. For a minute there, I wasn't sure if he was a pike. He seemed a little bit... too gray to be a pike. It might have been a Xander, but he's a little too fast. Yeah, he's he's a pike. He's just real pale. I thought he was bigger than that, honestly. Yeah. He's not bad. 17 pounds is still a good fish. That's bigger than what I've been getting. Yeah, I think the average pike out of here is about, between about 12 and 15 pounds. You're going to get a lot of those guys. Okay, looks like we got something on this one. Ooh, he's... He's either a mirror carp or a common carp. But he is big. Holy crap, look at the belly on him. I don't know if you can see it that well, but he is a fat little bugger. He does not seem like he even cares. He's just kind of cruising around. Oh yeah, this is a big carp. This one might actually be a trophy. Yeah, I think Max is the last trophy carp I caught. I caught him at Waldsea last episode. I have not caught a trophy carp from this venue yet. Well, he is big. Got this 
step up the tension a little bit because he is not even budging. Good thing is they're slow moving and they don't fight quite as hard as some of the other fish. So you can kind of push it a little bit on the tension. be seriously ready to throw that tension way down if I need to. Okay, I think we might have him, guys. We got him. We got him. Holy crap. He is a fat... Yep. Big Al. <laughs> big Al. That's Big Al. Holy crap. I wonder if he's the, I wonder how big he is compared to some of the others. That is a fat fish. 38 pounds, 3 ounces. Jeez. That is a big fish. <laughs> well, I finally got my first trophy common carp out of here. Trophy carp, period, actually. bring this in just a little bit. I don't know. Might change it up here. Yeah, I haven't been getting any bites off of that at all, so I think I might try fishing with a smaller hook. See if I can't get something a little different, like a tench or a perch. I mean, there's trophies of all species, so... Could try the chopped worms, maybe, or the pinkies. Let's try the chopped worm. Can't go wrong with worms. Your basic bait. You can dig these guys up. Now, there's all kinds of small, smaller fish out there. There's rud and roach and perch, European perch that is. Okay, I've got something on this one here. Let's see what this is here. This is on the third one that I just put out. Yeah, see? These are the kind of things you can get off of that. That is a roach. Ooh, level 50. But yeah, he's only 2 pounds. But they do have some trophies there. I think they run around 4 pounds. They're not big fish, though. Let's see. I think I might try the dendroworms worms, though, this time. See if we can't get some brain, maybe. So the bream will go for that as well as some of the small fish. Gonna lob it in there. Yeah, these bottom rods, you have to either lob them or side cast them in. It's, you cannot overhead cast very easily here. I try to <laughs> keep casting too far or hitting the bridge. Well, that was terrible. <laughs> ah, wait a minute. Got something on that third one again. Let's see what we got here, guys. So this is off the dendro worm. And I think it might be a bream. Yeah, it is definitely a bream. See, they're pretty good size too. For some reason, they kind of remind me of 
of the freshwater drum. I know they don't really look at all alike, but I think they might fill the same niche. Okay, we're going to try right over here again. Seriously? <laughs> I just threw it in there. What the heck is that? Okay, I'm not quite sure what that is. Might be a tench. It's kind of yellow. Seems too big to be a tench, though. It looks more... Maybe it's a bream, just a yellow bream or something. I don't know. Well, he's fighting too hard to be a bream. Damn! Wow. That is a big tench. Yeah, he's a trophy. Swifty? 12 pounds, 3 ounces. That is a big tench. Get a picture of him. And now number two is taken off. This is off the pop of Tiger Nuts. Now that looks like a mirror carp to me. Yeah, he's kind of brown. Uh, don't think he's a trophy, but he's he's a healthy specimen. Let's put it that way. He fight he's fighting a lot harder than Big Al did. <laughs> there we go. Yet yeah, no, he's a common carp. I'll be darned. It's really golden for a common carp, though. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Nowhere near as big as Big Al. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of activity over there. I've seen carp popping up all over the place. Let's see if I can't catch a couple of more. There we go. Alright, I think we got us another pike here. Uh, no, I'm not so sure it is a pike. Okay, what the hell is it? It's going over. Damn, it's fast. We'll give it that. If I can get it a little closer, I can... I think it's a Xander! Okay, I have not caught a Xander out of this. I have caught tons of pike, I've caught tons of carp, but never a Xander. Oh, number three is going off now, too. <laughs> Oh man, he is a fighter too. I don't know, maybe it's me, but it seems like the Xander fight better than the walleye do. We got him though. No? That is not a Xander. That is a small pike. Sure looked like a Xander for a minute there. Well, that explains why he fought so hard. Yeah, sometimes it's really hard to tell what they are under the water. Okay, this one... Okay, I don't even have a guess for this. He's almost black in color. Heck of a fighter. 
Well, we got him, whatever he is. Holy crap, that's a tinch? He's like a smoky brown color. He's not huge, but he's an interesting coloration on him. 8 pounds, 14 ounces. Hmm. Talk about a variety of colors. We'll try over there again. That's where we caught him. Yep, there's another one. Okay, I'm not sure. Again, he kind of looks like a Xander, but I called it wrong the last time, so I don't know. <laughs> He's a tough fish. No way, man. I saw that dorsal fin. That does not look like a pike. <coughs> no, that's not a pike. That is not a pike. Yeah, we'll find out for sure. Come on. We got him. There we go. There's my first sander, guys. First one. Oh, and he's a trophy. Nasher. Ganasher. <laughs> Nasher. Nine pounds. Well, he's not huge, but I guess for this place, nine pounds, one ounce. I'll get a picture of him, too. And number three is going off again. Plenty of activity here, guys. I have seriously caught quite a few fish here. I didn't put all of them in this video because it'd be, it would have been over an hour long, honestly. But I'm trying to get the best parts. We'll see what this guy is, and I think we're going to call this an episode. I think he's a bream. Yep, he's a bream. Not a trophy, though. Pretty sure, yep. Not bad, but not a trophy. Well, guys, it's getting a little bit long here. We're going to have to end this episode. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Caught three trophy fish in this three different species, too. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.